All the times that you rain on my parade And all the clubs you get in using my name You think you broke my heart, oh girl, for goodness sake You think I'm crying on Laura? Yeah? Why do you think there's so many fish here? I thought there was only two. Of course there's one. They can mate with each other and produce more, more, more fries. How do you think the mechanism works? Haven't you heard about hormone before? Hormones? I'm not sure. What's that? Come here. Simple video about hormone. Maybe this can help you understand more? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, this one. Now let me see. ever heard of endocrine glands? Endocrine glands secretes hormones directly into the bloodstream. These hormones are chemical substances that affect the activity of another body parts or the target sites. In essence, hormones act as a messenger controlling and coordinating the activity throughout the body. One of the main hormones in our body is insulin. Insulin is hormone that is produced by the pancreas that allows your body to use sugars from the carbohydrates that you eat for energy and to store as a glucose for future use. So insulin helps to regulate your blood sugar level from getting too high, hyperglycemia, or too low, hypoglycemia. So now you know what are hormones. So how about the video? Um, I think I can understand a little bit about the video, but I'm not sure. Um, actually, what are the hormones that are related to the reproduction system? Um, there are many, many hormones that are related with uh, reproduction, All right. such as uh, estrogen, progesterone, and also testosterone. Okay, so um, looking back at the fish tank that we saw here, yeah. how do these hormones um, can be applied to make them proliferate more? Hmm. I think one of the best methods is um, by induced spawning. Have you heard about this? <laughs> I never okay. heard. Uh, never mind. I have a friend nearby here. He's a fish breeder, and right. I think we should meet him because he is expert in this field. So let's. Yeah, I think we should go. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm a fish breeder, and today I'm going to teach you guys in how to uh, induce fish breedings. So first of all, for female fish, the most common technique to induce final maturations and also ovulation is by injecting hormones and the hormone is called ovaprem so the hormone is administered by intramuscular injections into the dorsal muscles so after in, after the injections we have to massage the injection area to make sure that there is an even distribution of hormones in the fish body okay so, uh, next is the process of ovulations and maturation depends on the water temperature so the average time between the injection and stripping is 15 to 20 hours, okay? And thirdly is stripping of female spawner is carried out by gently pressing the abdomen area with our thumbs from the pectoral fins towards the genital papilla. Mm -hmm. And also the ovulated eggs will flow out from the dorsal vein and we can collect it by using a container. For the male fish, the male is killed and dissected to obtain their testes. Their testes is dried thoroughly and we will rapidly cut it into a small pieces using scissors. And finally, the sperm is pressed out with a teaspoon. And then lastly, the sperm is added to the strip eggs and steer slowly and continuous, continuously for 60 seconds with a feather. And then the fertilized eggs are then ready for incubation in tank. Thank you, and that's how we induce spawning in fish. Hi, guys. Hey, hi. Hi, hi. hi, what are you guys up to here? We're talking about hormones. Yeah, we're talking about hormones. Oh, in fish, is it like induced spawning or something? Yes, induced spawning. We're talking about it. 
Oh, maybe I can help you guys then. Yeah, yeah. have a few questions about this. Huh? Yeah, of course. Join us and talk about So, guys, basically, there are a few organs or glands that involve in secreting the hormones responsible for fish reproduction system. I seem can quite to relate all these hormones and uh, fish. Would you mind please illustrate for us? Yeah, maybe you can uh, draw for us so we can understand better. Oh, uh, yeah, I can draw. So, maybe to help you guys understand better. Yeah. So, let's go. <laughs> So, first of all, pardon my trolling for an husband. I'm gonna explain to you how this hormone and glands mechanism works. Bear with me, okay? So, first of all, we have two main important organs or glands, which are hypothalamus and pituitary gland. And so, in this fish in the spawning technique, we are using our brine and as well as dopamine inhibitor to trigger the spawning processes. So, our prime, which contains the synthetic gonadotropin because your hormone triggers the hypothalamus, which eventually will trigger the anterior part of the pituitary gland to release follicle stimulator hormone and luteinizing hormone, which is FSH and NH. So these two hormones will eventually promote the growth and development of ovarian follicle, whereby at this stage it still contains the immature ova. So gradually the concentration of luteinizing hormone will increase, and NH surge is expected to occur. When there is enough or ideal concentration of the LH. When LH occurs, therefore, the ova will release and ovulation occurs. So, what we have learned today, let's recall. Firstly, hormone is a chemical signaling substance that is synthesized by specific cells in endocrine glands. It induces response in target organs. Hormones that are involved in reproduction are progesterone, testosterone, estrogen, and gonadotropin. In order to manipulate the timing for reproduction to suit the production cycles, we can induce reproduction by using hormones. Just like